my name is Luke Powers. Um, I'm from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, and my home parish is Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. Um, my vocation story really starts with my parents. Raised me and my sister as Catholic, and one of the greatest gifts that my parents ever gave to me was to send me to a Catholic school. And so I went to Sacred Hearts, and uh, there I grew in the Catholic faith and had great teachers. And the best part about being there, though, was uh, meeting many priests and all those priests were just filled with joy and young and very happy and I uh, noticed that every, uh, every year when I was at Sacred Hearts and I remember in fourth grade uh, Father Bart Timmerman, a very holy man over there, very happy, uh, took our fourth grade, fourth grade class down to this crucifix in the lobby and told us about vocations and what that was and at the time I didn't really understand and but it was like the first time that I realized that we would know what a vocation was and that was a possibility for me. And I didn't really think about it much time about the discernment there, but so I continued to go to Sacred Hearts until uh, seventh grade. And in seventh grade, I moved down to Dallas, Texas. And I was down there and we lived a very good life and things were going very well. And I joined a parish down there, St. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Ann Seton. And I met another young priest down there, Father Jason, his name was. And once again, just a very happy young man and I saw that in him. And, during that time down there is even though that we had all these great things and what society and culture was telling us that, you know, if you have these or you have this, you'll be happy. It just wasn't fulfilling or bring me great joy in my life. And at the time, I was still like going through the motions at church, you know, going to Sunday with my family, but not really meaning anything, you know, praying before meals, but didn't mean much at the time. And during my year down there, my freshman year down there, I started to really look at, you know, like what does it mean to be Catholic and so I took some religious education classes, uh, getting ready for confirmation. And I was there just like realizing that, wow, there's like so much more to the Catholic faith here. And then uh, continued to discern all the way up until my senior year. And I wasn't 100% sure, but you know, I was pretty confident this is what I was supposed to do. And so I continued to pray until my senior year. And then I asked uh, Father Paul Renze, who was the vocation director at the time, a very humble and holy man as well, and he uh, talked to me about the priesthood and said, you know, this is an option if you're discerning and stuff. And at that time, I went out to uh, Seton Hall at St. Andrew's College Seminary there and met some of the guys and realized that all the guys there are, you know, young men just like me and studying to be for priests and that these guys are, have a very happy life and very joyful. And, so after that, I came back and I said, you know, give me an application. I want to sign up. And so soon thereafter uh, of getting my application in, I was accepted as a seminarian for the Diocese of Madison.